So I found uh, Vivasar now optional course quite helpful. So I took it and I just followed what he taught. Uh, nothing more. Positive change that we are seeing that now many aspirants from Northeast are also coming. So what might have triggered this positive change? Last year, rank 5, Mayur Hazarika, he was also our student and first attempt, yes. And during my journey, I followed three C's. My main answer writing started after prelims. And uh, Rahul, for how many hours were you studying uh, in a day? Hello everyone, uh, today in our Toppers Talk, we have a very inspiring person with us, Mr. Rahul Hijam. Why I'm using this adjective inspiring? Because it is his very first attempt. He is from Manipur. And in the very first attempt, his name is there in the list. And he is also our classroom student of Next IS. So Rahul, welcome to you and lots of congratulations. Rahul has scored All India Rank 740 and his optional is Economics. He has done his graduation from Delhi University Hindu College and post graduation also from Delhi only. And since after doing his post graduation, he has started preparing for UPSC. And in the very first attempt, he has got this rank. It is very inspiring, very motivating for many of us. So Rahul, tell us something about like how this idea of UPSC preparation stuck to you. It was from my early childhood uh, to appear for UPSC, be an IS officer. It was mainly due to the respect and ap appreciation that the society gives. Mm -hmm. But as I grew up and during my graduation, I started understanding the depth and the importance of this service mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because it has a huge career growth. Mm -hmm. Also, it provides me a platform to serve the society in a certain way that I would want. Mm -hmm. So it was more uh, like I liked it more, even more after that. Uh, Rahul, it's also very uh, positive change that we are seeing that now many aspirants from Northeast are also coming. So what might have triggered this positive change in the region? Uh, I think more selection from those reasons. Last year, rank five. Mayur Hazarika, he was also our student and first attempt, yes. This time, 10 students from Manipur has selected. Oh, 10 students from Manipur only. Yes. So I think it inspires the younger uh, youth and it gives them hope that they can also crack it if others can. Mm -hmm. And the parents are also quite uh, supporting towards that. So I think it's a good uh, step towards more diverse uh, career options. So you said that the idea came to you from the very beginning, from your childhood. So that's why you have come to Delhi for your graduation, post-graduation, keeping in mind UPSC preparation? Uh, while, uh, when I was taking economics as my subject, mm -hmm. uh, it was ma majorly due to the interest that intrigues me. Mm -hmm. Because when I was in uh, plus two, uh, I took economics also in, uh, at that time. And the subject interest quite uh, intrigued me. So that's the only reason I took economics and not because uh, I have to give UPSC and keep my optional as economics. Mm -hmm. Okay, so out of your interests, you have taken up economics in your graduation and post-graduation and this interest has led you to choose it as an optional also. So how did you prepare for economics optional? Uh, for uh, I was uh, pretty sure that I have to do it very quick in a small amount of time because the uh, syllabus is very vast. So I found uh, Vivasar now uh, optional course quite helpful. Mm -hmm. So I took it and I just followed what he taught, uh, nothing more. And I analyzed the PYQs mm -hmm. and the class notes that he has given. Mm -hmm. And it was quite sufficient for me to achieve high marks in my, my, my final exam. So uh, Rahul, it's like a first attempt. Generally what happens is like many students they come and they join the institute and they say that in the first statement we just try to understand this whole process or this exam but in the very first attempt you cracked it and there's also uh, like a general notion among the students that first attempt is like you do not have much time to prepare you do not have some additional time to study something more apart because you are already uh, too much occupied in your coachings if you have joined any so how did you manage? Because a lot of time in the coaching institute and then how did you prepare for it and then finally you are in the list? 
I think first, the most determining factor is the mindset, our attitude towards this exam. Because many of the aspirants thought uh, UPSC is very tough. Mm -hmm. uh, first attempt, we'll give it a try, know the question pattern. Mm -hmm. In my opinion, to know the question, we have passed your question. Yeah, are there. And during my preparation, I was pretty confident that I have to give 100% and clear it in the first attempt. So I think mindset is very important. And during my journey, I followed three C's. First, confidence, that is self-belief, mm -hmm. that I can crack it. Mm -hmm. Second is consistency, mm -hmm. be patient, yes. and do it as in a disciplined manner. Yes. Follow the daily routine. And third is consciousness, that is self-introspection. Mm -hmm. Take a step back, look whether if my approach is right or wrong, mm -hmm. and not only hear what other experts are saying, mm -hmm. because I think it's an, it's a, an every individual is unique. Mm -hmm. So they have their own strength and weakness. So we have to self-introspect ourselves and see whether our steps are right or wrong. So I followed these three, uh, three C's diligently and I think it helped me in my success. Of course, uh, self-introspection is something very important because that helps you to improve yourself. Yeah, You are only competing with yourself at the end of the day. So it's self-introspection that helps, really it really helps. So Rahul, uh, like apart from your class, because you are quite exhausted in your classes only. So how did you manage to uh, like prepare? Did you go for some extra material or you were just sticking to what has been taught in the classes? So what was your strategy? I was pretty straightforward with, uh, in my approach. I thought that I would only follow what is uh, taught in the class. So my major resources were only the class lecture notes, mm -hmm. not the resources given, but the class lecture notes that I wrote down. Mm -hmm analyze the PYQ uh, and consolidate that. And if there is something which is not uh, in the class notes, I would refer to YouTube or Google and only supplement it. And major uh, strategy was revision. Mm -hmm. I uh, tried, really tried focusing on revision uh, and just try to concise and keep my resources very small. Mm -hmm. So I think that's my strategy. Uh, so Rahul, you said you like you focus mainly on class notes. Of course, class notes are very good, but the point is there are some dynamic subjects. Like by the time the subject is taught to you in the class, and by the time you are appearing for your uh, mains, it it changes a lot. Like IR. So how do you manage your IR section? Was it only the class notes? Me. Uh, I followed news daily newspaper, so I read the Hindu mm -hmm. during my preparation time. Uh, just changed into Indian Express during my uh, interview time. Okay. But throughout my journey, I followed the Hindu. So I think if we keep following, uh, reading daily newspapers, we can be uh, kept updated mm -hmm. because the basics are pretty clear. So when it is given on newspaper, we can quite uh, easily understand it. So I keep following the newspaper. Also. So you updated your notes accordingly. Okay. Uh, Rahul, how did you manage your answer writing? Uh, for answer writing, uh, as you said, I had no extra time yeah. with the coaching going on. So I took the weekly test yeah. quite seriously. Yeah. That was uh, part of my preparation. And while I was writing those tests, I took it seriously. I gave every test. Mm -hmm. uh, first, the marks were quite low, but mm -hmm. I tried to learn from it, from the suggestions given. Uh, yes, okay. I tried to inculcate it in my answer writing. And my main answer writing started after prelims. Mm -hmm those um, men's, uh, answer, uh, men's test series, mm -hmm. I, uh, I give it very seriously and I try to uh, uh, achieve those little, little improvements and uh, value ad additions from that only. Mm -hmm. uh, this is what we keep on uh, telling the students, all, all the teachers at the institute, we keep on telling the students that please write your weekly tests. Don't take it lightly because that, these are the small steps that really help you in answer writing. And how do you manage your essay section? Because that is a big answer writing 1200 words or you can say 2400 words for two essays. So how did you manage that section? I had no idea how to write essay okay. before prelims. Okay, before prelims. So you started it after your prelims. I started only in the main test series. I only followed all the, I think I have taken all the courses from Next IELTS Institute only. Mm -hmm. And I kept it restricted. I gave this uh, Next IELTS main test series also. And I was also very weak in remembering. So I was fearful because many people say that in essay we have to write quotations. Yeah. And I was weak at remembering. 
So after test series, I got to realize that we have to focus on our strength, not weakness. So I changed from quotation to anecdotes. And also I scored 107 this time in essay. So I think it was not bad. And I think if we keep practicing, then we can achieve uh, good marks in essay. Yeah, Rahul, this is what like I keep on telling students that it's not a compulsion that you should be writing quotes. Because if, it, if you're not comfortable writing, avoid it. You, you can write good essay without quotes also. So did you watch that discussions also? Because like we were doing, uh, like we have done five tests with eight topics, so overall 40 topics. So did you manage to watch all the 80 topics or write on like five tests, 10 topics? So did you manage all these things? No, I could not manage to watch all the 80 topics because there was time constraint. Mm -hmm. So I watched only those, we, those topics where I had certain doubts to uh, have more diversified ideas and uh, more points to write if there is some similar topic given in the men's, uh, main exam. Mm -hmm. So I used to watch only those topics where I find that it is quite, it could be quite useful to me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, Rahul, uh, first time interview, how nervous were you? I was very nervous after I found out that I qualified men's. I was very nervous and I had a fear and I have little this uh, tendency of severing. Mm -hmm. So I was very fearful that it might hamper my interview. Mm -hmm. So I took 14 mock tests okay. because I knew that was my weak point. Okay. Yeah, I could sever, I could be nervous, I could have uh, spoiled my good answers also. Mm -hmm. But what I learned was and the advice that the mock interviews had given me was that be yourself. Yeah, be yourself. Be sincere. Be honest, be yourself. If you don't know, say, sorry, sir, I do not know. Mm -hmm. And don't act like uh, you know everything. So after those 14 mock tests, I was quite confident. And in my main interview also, uh, I did not feel like it was the main interview. I thought like, uh, I feel like it was also a mock interview. Okay. So I was pretty confident. I was, um, I think I have managed to answer most of the question like three of the questions I did not know. I said I did not know. Mm -hmm. And um, my interview mark is, I think, also quite good. I got eight, 187 in interview. It's a very good marks. And the best part is like they are not looking for answer to each and every question. Yeah, you did not answer three questions, but still you got good marks. And they made you comfortable to answer because uh, sometimes the uh, the, the candidate is not very comfortable. But I think board is very soothing. It is very welcoming to the candidates. How is your experience? It was not like a question answer format. It was like a discussion, yeah. healthy discussion, sharing ideas with those uh, panel members. And even while uh, when I was forgetting some words, they were helping me. Okay. Like one question was, they asked me about uh, infrastructure projects in northeastern areas. Mm -hmm. the, recently, the Sela, Sela Tunnel was uh, inaugurated, mm -hmm. and I forgot the name Sela. So I started uh, telling that recently there was a tunnel that was inaugurated. They helped me, uh, Sela. Mm -hmm. So I said, yes, sir, it's Sela Tunnel. Mm -hmm. So that's how the interview went. They were like acting as a prompt also. They wanted you to come out with the best of your answers, yeah? Uh, were there questions around Northeast also? Yes, uh, fortunately, all the questions were around my bio data only. Mm -hmm. So there was, I had my, ho I had written my hobby as watching anime. Oh, okay. So the chairman started asking from anime part only, like, is there uh, uh, something similar to anime in India? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, apart from that, there was question from Northeastern region also. Mm -hmm. uh, the impediments, the potential of Northeast, mm -hmm. the infrastructure uh, projects uh, taken, mm -hmm. and the eco-sensitive zone and the sustainability of those projects. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, major, uh, major questions were from economics only. Okay, that right. being your graduation, post-graduation and optional subject, yeah. So the banking sector, uh, development, poverty, export-import, like uh, the import rates are quite high for India, but we say free trade, free trade. Mm -hmm. So what is your opinion? So something like that. Uh, Rahul, this is your first attempt and you have got 740 rank. And now as we were discussing, you said you will be again writing this test this time. So what are the improvements that now you are focusing upon? I think I will only focus on revision 
and practicing only because I have already covered the syllabus and I don't think I need to cover more but improve my quality only of uh, quality of writing answers. So I think revision and practice is the only thing that I have to work on. Value addition to your content, will you be working upon that also? Uh, it's uh, surely because value addition is very important and uh, with the current affairs and the news uh, changing it's, uh, each and each day. So I have to be updated with the current affairs also so that I could write something relevant so that they also understand that I am, uh, I am updating my resources and not stagnating on a certain resource only. And uh, Rahul, for how many hours were you studying uh, in a day? I think I have a little different strategy. So I don't uh, count hours for study. Mm -hmm. I think the whole day is for study only. Mm -hmm. And I break sometimes for my sleep, for uh, eating my lunch and dinner, mm -hmm. for breakfast, and for my laser activities. Mm -hmm. So I kept it reversely. I did not count any study hour, but I maintained my discipline and I try to follow my daily routine only. And you love to play football also. So were you pursuing your interest of playing football along with the studies or completely no-no to your physical activities? No, I stopped playing football when I came to Delhi mm -hmm. due to lack of uh, space. Infrastructure here? Yes. So I started running. I focused on going to gym. Uh, for one hour or something. That is also very important, yeah, very important. And after that, I started having another hobby. Like I started enjoying watching tennis. Okay, watching tennis. Yes. Okay. So I started watching tennis. Also, I watch web series and anime also. So it's not like I have to study all day. Mm -hmm. I think it just became a monotonous life and it decreases our uh, productivity. Mm -hmm. So I think we need to spare some time for laser activities where we can refresh, recharge our energy. And nowadays, like we have access to so much of the social media platforms. So were you completely stuck from all those things or, or like you were continuing with some of these social media platforms also? I have continued uh, with all my social media. I haven't uninstalled any of the apps, uh, Facebook, Instagram, but I was not quite into those platforms. I used to visit them only for 10 to 15 minutes only. Mm -hmm. So it was not a major distraction for me. So I did not uninstall them. Um, but in my opinion, what matter is yourself believe that you can do it and be disciplined, disciplined. follow the daily routine. If you can do it, I think it doesn't matter if you are using social media, if you are watching movies or uh, interacting with friends, I think you can manage uh, all the workload. Rahul has rightly said that, that the only success mantra behind this examination is that you should be self-disciplined and you should be self-motivated. You should have, you should believe in yourself and you should be very honest to evaluate yourself and also to work upon your shortcomings. That is something is very important. And it's not important that you cut yourself from the world and, and do a kind of a tapasya sitting in a room. It's not necessary. You can enjoy your extracurricular activities. You can enjoy your hobbies. You can even enjoy your uh, using social media platforms, watching anime, watching films, watching web series. But again, the point is that you should be focused. And it is also, you should also not keep in the mind that this is my first attempt. So let us take it very lightly. No, no attempt should be taken lightly. You enjoy this process and, and the journey is very beautiful. So Rahul, once again, congratulations and lots and lots of good wishes for your future attempts and also for being a successful civil servant. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Rahul. Thank <laughs> you.